person on the planet. And it named Ida, the preserved primate fossil, is kept at the American Museum of Natural History and somewhat resembles a lemur. But experts believe it has features linking it to the branch of the primate family tree that evolves into humans. Now, though, a new chapter in the history of evolution has been opened up with the discovery of the world's oldest skeleton of a human ancestor. But as Morgan Neal reports, the findings are throwing up as many questions as answers. It's a discovery that's giving scientists new clues to how humans may have evolved. We have recovered a partial skeleton dating to 4.4 million years ago. These are the fossilized remains of Ardi, who roamed the Earth more than 4 million years ago. Discovered in Ethiopia in 1994, it's taken years for scientists to analyze the remains and publish a series of new articles in the journal Science. This was like discovering a time capsule from a period and a place that we knew nothing about. Artie's skeleton revealed she was 1.2 meters tall and weighed about 49.8 kilograms. The skeleton was discovered in Ethiopia country that also yielded the remains of Lucy, previously the oldest skeleton of a human ancestor. Artie's pelvis and hip indicate she could walk on two legs like a human, but could also climb on all fours among tree branches. Scientists say the findings challenge earlier beliefs that humans evolved from a chimp-like creature. From the beginning, we've used chimpanzees and gorillas as our stand-ins, if you will, for the last common ancestor. We can't do that anymore. Instead, Artie supports beliefs that chimps and humans evolved separately from the same ancestor. We can see that as primitive as this creature is, it has already evolved those special characters indicating that it's on our side of the family tree and that it is not on the chimpanzee side of the family tree, nor is it the common ancestor. Experts say what they've learned from Artie leads them to think that common ancestor or missing link was likely less like a chimp than previously thought. And that, they say, opens up entirely new ways of thinking about human evolution. Morgan Neal, CNN, London. Makes you think. Back now, though, to our top story. Latin America is to host the... And it gives us the clearest pictures yet of the origin of the species. Ardi, as she's been called by scientists, believe that she was a woodland creature with a small brain, long arms, and short legs. A number of people have been evacuated from their homes.